This is Dying Light 2. When my father saved my life, he told me never to forget who I am, where I come from. But in this place, nobody even wants to know my name. Getting attached is deadly. Because when darkness comes, I might be gone. And this is Dying Light 2 Stay Human. When my father saved my life, he told me never to forget who I am, where I come from. But in this place, nobody even wants to know my name. Getting attached is deadly. Because when darkness comes, I might be gone. This video is all about the Dying Light 2 we had in 2019-18. I want to show people in Techland that a lot of us really want this version back. Like, really bad. So in here, I'm gonna cover six topics. Architecture of Vildor. Visuals and atmosphere removed or changed mechanics, removed or changed interactions slash encounters, cut content, and character designs. So let's start off with... Vildor looked way better in all the 2019-18 showcases. The colors of the city were desaturated and dark. The skyscrapers also looked way more like today's architecture and not like the ones we have now. The greenery on the rooftops was way more desaturated like it should be, and the rooftops weren't too overgrown. There were less trees around, which was also really good. What really annoyed me is that Techland also decided to make ropes and poles and those things that pull you up colored. And all the same, it's like yellow and blue, and I hate it. These props should have had their normal color. It should blend in. And it would look way better than to have a yellow slash blue mark everywhere, even on the dumpsters and landing pads. Like, come on, we play Dying Light 1, we know more than that. The interiors of the buildings were also less colored, making them look more realistic. And the layout on the top of the rooftops looked more different on each one, having construction scaffolding, events that are placed differently, and smoke. And not always the same like in the retail version, and it had more props and stuff in general put on top of it. While the retail, it feels all too sane. Villador also used walls made out of bricks and materials like that, making it all look way more like New York than this child's coloring book that we have with a city now. Also, the way that the fisheye looked in 2019 version was way better. They settled in a big building in Central Loop and fortified it, and didn't build this out of wood like they were playing Fortnite. Also, there was fog everywhere around the map, and the subway train was dark green with yellow mixed in, fitting into the atmosphere perfectly. Before we move on to the next category, there's one more thing I want to address. Where is the skybox? That perfect skybox that had houses around and this cloudy slash yellow slash blue feeling in it. Where is that? It's like, today's Dying Light 2 feels very empty. It just feels like it's surrounded by a forest and Elysium that's far away with some buildings that have been blown up by, chemical, by chemicals that look like trash. The skybox we had in 2019 had these massive skyscrapers in the distance that looked and felt way more like a world than now. I think we can for sure say that the atmosphere was foggy, gritty and dark all around. The colors were desaturated and dark, and the world was not colorful like it should be. Dying Light 1 had the same grayish yellow slash orange tone to it, and it fit perfectly with it. So why throw all of that away in the sequel to make this? How am I supposed to feel scared? How am I supposed to feel that the zombies are scary with every when every corner I turn around I see a bright world? This is not how it should be. This is the last city standing in the whole world, and it's been 15 years since the fall. Why are the colors so bright? By now, they will dry out, the metal will rust and fall apart, 
and some floors and fences would break when you jump on them, yet in the retail, none of that is there. And one last thing I want to cover is the HUD. It was way more minimalistic, similar to the Dying Light 1 HUD, and it was all grey, while the HUD from the retail is all over your face. And not minimalistic and way too colorful. They went for an RPG aesthetic for this whole game instead of the realistic, minimalistic, and desaturated approach. Dying Light 1 had almost no jump scares, but it managed to scare you using the aesthetic of the game and the atmosphere. I don't think I have ever been scared in Dying Light 2. Maybe a couple of times I felt a little nervous running from a wall tile, but that's the most. Some animations in the 2019 version are janky, but some of them are way better than the retail. The pull kick is way better that was found in the files, the balance jump is way better, and I can go so on and so on. There were literal mechanics that were found in the game that are barely usable, and some of them were even remo removed. Like, you were able to climb ropes in even your own grapple rope, and there's this ledge kick mechanic that is almost not usable because of the layout of the city. You barely have a chance to use it. You were able to pull props with the grappling hook, and a part of that mechanic is still in the game on a part of the map, or like only one part of the map, which is sad. This could have been utilized way better. The encounters in the trailers and demos looked way way more epic and bigger than in the retail version. In the E3 version we saw hordes of infected fighting against hordes of peacekeepers, and much more while all we see now is either a man tied up, a man in a cage, or a man hanging, or four peacekeepers fighting four renegades, and that's all basically. No hordes, nothing special. I know Timon doesn't like to call it cut content and all of that like he said in the interview with Oni, but I'm still gonna say it. There is shit ton of cut content in this game. The whole survival part they said, the hunting part, uh, the animals, nunchucks, double wielded she shields, spears, scorpio and more. But I'm happy to see that they're taking the route of slowly introducing them back in with the 2019 outfit and the volatile highs, which I hope is permanent. And I'm hoping that the list I told and more cut content will come back. But the biggest part I hope to come back is Elysium. If this doesn't come back in, this would be the biggest waste of a map and assets, if it doesn't. I swear to god, if it comes back and every asset is changed to a new one or something like that, and they didn't keep the better look of the game, I will punch someone. Using the art book, we can see some past character designs. The art book is such an amazing thing because it gives us the insights of the process of making the game and to see how much characters changed and to see the past slash better version of Vildor. <sighs> what I'm really mad about is how they changed the designs of the peacekeepers and the renegades. Renegades are more understandable, their design is good, I'm just sad that they didn't go with the old, more simple one. But then again, it was hard to tell if they were bandits or not. But it's alright. What I'm the most mad about is the peacekeepers. They went from looking like they were in an actual apocalypse and that they made armor out of scraps, to as if they got a fashion designer to make the clothes for most of them. Like, what the fuck? You're in the middle of an apocalypse. How do you have all these perfectly made, same color outfits like they were commissioned and made before the apocalypse? Like, change that, Techland, please. Change it just back to the old versions of, of Peacekeepers. Alright, final thoughts. I really, really miss the old version of um, Dying Light. And I hope that Techland will slowly and slowly shift back to the old version of the game. The story can't be changed. That's set. There's nothing that we can do about that. It's alright, as long as they change back the assets, the atmosphere, and the feel of the game. I don't think they can change the city. I hope they can, but I don't know, because that might be like false marketing if they change it back to the 2019 version. And I don't even know if they want to do that, let's be honest. But I hope that slowly and slowly somehow they're going to get back the version of the game we all loved and wanted. Like, if they had this version of the game that 
everyone loved. They saw that everyone loved this version of the game. And they decided to just change it out of nowhere to something else, which is, I think, the stupidest decision I've ever heard. But it's really up to them as to what they do. And no matter what happens to this game, I'm still going to love it. I pre-ordered this game and I have everything and I'm still playing it. I'm on $200 on this game. But, and I, obviously, like, I think the future of Dying Light 2 will be really good. But yeah, these are my final thoughts. Peace out.